Hello and welcome again to FEM Expert. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to perform a model analysis using NCSA PDL utilizing volume type element. So for that, we're going to go into the ANSYS interface. We're going to use a simple geometry since working with a volume type elements could be a little bit tricky if we're working with ANSYS. If not, uh, we should import the model from another program. So we're going to go define the element type, add the delete, and we're going to work with solid 185 for a brick 8 node. You got to be careful when you choose the, uh, the element type. The four node, although it's under solid, it acts actually as a surface. So we're going to go here, we're going to define the material properties, we're going to utilize steel. So we're going to go to isotropic 2.1 E11 0.3 Poisson's coefficient under uh, the international, the international um, system. So the density is 7850. If you make it 7800, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to get here to the modeling. We're going to look at the, we're going to the modeling and we're going to create an area a rectangle by dimension so the coordinate of x is going to be 0 the coordinate for x2 is going to be 0 0.1 it's going to be 0 and it's going to be 0 0.02 so it's going to be a rectangle of 120 millimeters we're going to extrude this um, this rectangle so we can do vx which is volume extrusion and it asks us the, the, the direction. This extrusion, this particular command doesn't require a, um, it doesn't require a, um, a line. So we're going to do on the Z direction 0 0.3. If we look, nothing changed. But if we turn around the model, it's going to be extruded 0 0.3 in this direction. So now what we're going to do is uh, proceed to restrict this model. When we're restricting this thing, we're going to have to take into consideration a couple of things. Uh, because we have a volume model, we're gonna, we can restrict the lines, the key points, and other stuff. So, so far, to make it easy, we're going to restrict the key points, the four key points. We're going to apply all the degrees of freedom. The volume type elements only had three degrees of freedom, the displacements among each one of the main axes. We're going to restrict, restrict that and we're going to go and give it a size, a meshing size. And this is one of the problems that the volume type elements have is we can only have elements as big as the at least the thickness. So in this case, 0.02. And then we're going to perform a v sweep that p we can go and pick all and we have the geometry meshed in order to have a good geometry we should actually perform a meshing with a 0.01 so 10 millimeters element size at least we're going to compare the results in this tutorial but you're also going to see uh, the, the disadvantages of using the volume type elements due to the big number of uh, elements that they require in order to perform good uh, simulations. So once we have the model, we're going to go to solutions, analysis type, new analysis model. Then we're going to do uh, analysis options, block lenses, the first 10 modes, the first 10 modes. Uh, this is OK. And we're going to perform the sol solve. As you can see, we got uh, the solution. Then we're going to go to gender post-processing, read results, pick by list. So the frequencies are 125. We're going to look only at the deformed shapes, P and Sol, U, Sum. So as you can see, this is a, the deformation goes in the uh, Y direction. We're going to look at the next one. This probably goes in a similar way, maybe sideways. It's hard to tell on this, uh, on this scale. When look at the next one, it's a bending one. The next one is a torsional one, as you can see. The next one is a flexional one. And so on, we have all the, this one that probably has a compressing effect, maybe. So what we're going to do is we're going to go look at this by peak. Uh, PL and Sol. Uh, no, set common list, sorry. 
set comma list. So here we obtain the results. I'm gonna keep this this uh, table on a side so we can look at it later to compare values. So now I'm going to perform an, a V clear to clear the meshing, comma all, V clear, comma all. It's under preprocessing, so we do it again. We're gonna do a V plot, we're gonna do a E size for the element size, E size, E size, E, is size comma 0 0.01 so that's half we're gonna do a v sweep uh, this, the sweeping it's better than doing meshing on volume elements we'll explain this uh, those characteristics in some later tutorial so we had the v sweep the restrictions are the same so we just go and do the solo and solve now we're gonna look again at the list set comma list and we're going to compare the results we're going to pull this one so this is with 10 millimeters and this is with 20 millimeters so as you might see there are significant differences between the frequencies the shape modes are going to be exactly the same all of the, the frequencies are going to be significantly different there is a difference of at least 10 percent on each frequency and not, not to look into the second one, that's 763 compared to 563, or 872 compared to 982. So there's significant differences on the mode chips. And we're gonna keep this on the, uh, on the other monitor. We're gonna look at the shapes just in case there's something that we're missing. But the shapes supposedly are exactly they have to be the same and it, it is exactly what it looks like the third one is a bending the th fourth one is a twisting they their their values are just very extre they're extremely extremely different so we're going to do it again we're going to go to preprocessor we're going to do we'll do a v clear comma all we're going to do a e size comma all and we're going to do half of that size we're going to do V sweep, comma all. Now we have three elements per thickness. There's a little, we have a little confusion here. Something is not quite right. So we're gonna do V clear again, comma all. I'm gonna look at V plot, E size, and 0 0.05. V sweep, comma all. 005 that was a mistake that's the mistake i made so we're gonna v clear all i'll set a plot uh, e size so it's 0 0.005 we sweep come on okay so we have well we have on this dimension we have four per four four elements per thickness so they're five millimeters because the thickness was 20 so we're gonna go here and we're gonna do a solve. It's gonna take a little bit or a significant amount more, but anyway, it's a simple model, so there's not a big problem. And we're gonna look again at set comma list. We're gonna look at this and we're gonna compare the values between the five millimeter, the 10 millimeter, and the 20 millimeter meshing. And as you might see, the, the differences are, are quite significant. And uh, it results extremely complicated to analyze the structures with volume type elements, unless we have extremely good meshings and we, we check the values because these values will decrease until there's a, not in a, a high increase when we increase the number of elements, not a high variation between these. It will, it will go asymptotic, it will tend towards a value. But as you see, and we're gonna go here, we're gonna remove the, 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 the results, and we're gonna look at the shapes to see if there's anything with the, the shapes that maybe has have changed. Uh, first, first set, and as you can see, the results are very extremely similar. We're gonna go to the next one, and the third one is a bending, the fourth one is the twisting and so on 
this one has a significantly different behavior i would say but it could be also because of the of the deformation of the corners and under the under the same restrictions the results are significantly different in terms of frequency but they're not in terms of shape so there you there you go well when you're using uh, volume type elements for performing model analysis you have to be extremely careful and bear in mind that the models have to be extremely accurate and the the restrictions also have to be extremely accurate they have to be very thoughtful they have to be um, analyzed before applied for example in our situation we apply the four restrictions which under a normal situation could be a an area restriction or maybe a line restriction they're just a wide variety of things and when you're performing this analysis we recommend you to perform uh, a, a couple of analysis to check what's the best meshing dimension and then you will have the the best result that you can achieve or as an alternative you should use uh, shell type elements that will provide uh, more consistent results and not being so affected by the meshing dimensions so anyway we thank you for watching this video if you liked it please uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, like our videos thank you very much